Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. So in today's video, I'm here to test out the other BH Cosmetics palette that I purchased, which is the Pistachio palette. And I'm very excited to try this. Um, a couple of videos ago, I did try the Cherry on Top palette, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, before I get started, I actually want to just quickly address something. Um, yesterday on my channel, on two videos, someone left some really horrible nasty comments and I um, <laughs> they came out of nowhere like I know a lot of people um, who've watched my videos obviously might not like them um, and don't really like the way that I you know film or do my makeup but I really don't think it's appropriate to leave such horrible messages um, I know that this one person just had watched two of my videos and decided just to comment on both of them I just want to say if you don't like my content or if you don't like my videos or you don't like what I do just turn off the video and move on to someone else um hate comments are just not appropriate they're just so it's just so pointless what are you getting out of it it completely ruined my day yesterday um and it was supposed to be a Sunday day off just relaxing and it fucked me up so if you've got nothing nice to say please don't say anything uh, but I want to thank the people who do watch my videos and are very nice <laughs> I'm not saying that um, everyone needs to leave nice comments that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying if you don't like my content then just move on um, I'm not forcing you <laughs> to watch my videos I never force anyone um, but yeah I just felt like in this world we need to be a bit more kinder because um, that's lacking a lot and before anyone says oh being on YouTube that means you should be ready for hate no one should be it doesn't matter what job you do it doesn't matter um, who you are as a person just don't <laughs> like it's just so not necessary um, so yeah I just wanted to get that off my chest and again thank the people who are just really awesome so like I mentioned the pistachio palette um, I got this from the BH Cosmetics website which um, took I think a, a, like two weeks to get here maybe it took a little while for it to be um, kind of sorted out and then dispatched and then came all the way from America there was no custom charges which is amazing um, if you haven't seen my cherry on top video that was like a couple of videos ago so not even that far off and this is a palette I'm very excited about because if you have been watching my videos you know that green is one of my favorite shades at the moment so this is like one of the perfect palettes that I've wanted to try um, that cherry on top palette was a very kind of pink toned as opposed to it being really red that was one of my only issues with it everything else on this like these palettes are amazing the pigmentation are fantastic so what I want to do um, is start on the eyes today because that's what we're concentrating on most so I do have my rest of my full face but I'll see how I feel once I do the eyes um, if I want to kind of continue on camera or off camera we'll just see how it goes so let's start off with like a nice transition shade and I'm gonna start off with soft serve which is a very light green just here one thing I like about um, this pack, the whole bottom row are matte shades and the whole top row are uh, shimmers. So I like that there's a variety as well. So it's not like there's two matte shades and you're done. So I feel like um, I want to, oh wow, I don't, I'm not going to put like a base down because um, I want to see how these work without any kind of help, even though um, I can just have seen on because of my cherry on top one that was so pigmented honestly it was um insane and absolutely gorgeous so yeah i've waited a few days to actually try this one because i didn't want to upload the kind of two videos back to back i know i should have filmed them together but i <laughs> wanted to concentrate one palette uh, per video just so it'd be easier to talk about so that first shade is a gorgeous neon green you can still really see it on the eyes which i think is perfect because if you want something very light it's gonna it's gonna pop out so let's go on to um nutty <laughs> which is just here so this is a bit of a darker green and i'm gonna put this only yeah i'm gonna put this in like kind of my crease the only issues that i have with these some of these palettes as well is that there's a bit of fallout just like 
not a crazy amount of fallout but there is a lot of fallout when you add your brush so this is actually much darker in the pan than it is on the eyes um, on the eyes it seems um, much more lighter because if you see something like this to something like this a bit different but that doesn't mean it's not good because <laughs> it is pretty good so that's yeah that's pretty nice actually um, I'm living my green dream recently like so many brands that I've liked have come out with such gorgeous green eyeshadow palettes like for the Beauty Bay one oh that is an actually an amazing eyeshadow palette it's the Wilderness palette I have done a review on it and I really want to try it again because it's got um, some gorgeous reds in that palette and also some blue so that's a very um, multi-use <laughs> palette and I think this palette I'm going to get a lot of use out as well just because some of these shimmers are actually insane like this one I feel like I need to try today because it is it just is calling my name um, but yeah this second shade nutty is pretty good um, yeah it's a nice kind of blend of the two so you can still see the first one popping out there is a bit of fallout here but I'm glad I did my eyes first because I, I then will be able to clear it up once I put my foundation on. I am going to go in with Cone or Cup just here and that is going to go in my inner corners. Cone or Cup just brings me back so much um, memory of when I used to work in the cinema because they had a uh, Ben and Jerry's there as well. And every single time, obviously, you would have to say to someone, uh, do you want a cone or a cup? And I used to hate it when someone said, oh, can I have a cone? <laughs> because it just was so much more effort to actually not get the cone to break because sometimes they're just very soft. And so you're kind of like, okay, let's just do it. Especially with Ben and Jerry's, like their ice cream is super duper nice. But sometimes it was a pain in the butt to actually scoop out but some good memories i miss working in like the cinema sometimes <laughs> mainly because of my friends but then just being able to like see as many films as i want to was pretty handy i remember i used to go every other day even though even when i was working like maybe before or after or just chilling with like my friends and stuff i was like let's go to the cinema and get free tickets especially on certain days when it just was not busy and then I could just be like, yeah, going to see like two or three films a day. That was a dream. So this shade I'm just kind of using to darken up the corner a bit. This side is definitely better than this side. Um, I'm just blending it out. It's taking its time around here, whereas this side was a bit better. I'm not trying to add like too much because um, I just don't want to overload the corners of my eyes too much. But... Just gonna blend it out a bit more and then I might just get from my first brush just to kind of clean out the edges a bit just so it's not too heavy and again all the fallout I will sort out um, before I put on the rest of my face and then lastly I'm gonna go in with the shimmer so like I mentioned I really want to go in with uh, that corner one so it's called crunch which is just here I'm just taking one of my fluffy brushes and we are going to just take that in the corner oh wow yep okay that is um pretty damn nice if i don't say so myself it's such a like mermaid green which is what i'm about to be honest <laughs> that's nice I'm not using the best brush, but it was a brush that I <laughs> had gotten out and decided to use. So I'm going to try my best to get it in the corners. This one seems to be a little bit patchy compared to, for example, the Cherry on Top palette. Um, but I feel like I can, obviously, well, the look I've gotten is insane. I'm going to use, let's get that on my nose. It's going on my nose. Uh, I'm going to use the other side. I feel like the brush is a bit smaller 
and I'll be able to get more on there. There we go. I don't know why I chose a big brush because um, <laughs> that was just too much hard work. So yeah, this green shade is insane. It seems like it's kind of like a glitter tone. Mm. So it's not like it's um, just straight up glitter. It looks like it's more on the heavier shimmers. Like if you look at it compared to maybe something like these ones, they seem to be less heavier, if that makes any sense. Like this seems like it's more of a thicker consistency. Um, all right, well. Wow. That is, <laughs> that's very heavy. That's a great, that's a great shade. Um, okay, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of my face because I feel like if I natter on even more, we're going to be here forever. So I'm actually going to do everything else off camera and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and this is my finished look. The eyes, I went a little bit more on just because I wanted to add a bit more of that shimmer on top. What I've actually done is on my lower lash line, if you can see, I added the eyeliner by Beauty Bay in the shade Peacock, which is kind of the only eyeliner that I have, but they're really good. So I'm tempted to buy maybe one or two more. So this is the absolutely gorgeous green shade that you can see on the lower lash line. On the inner corner, I actually added the shade Dessert which is this one just here and I know they're not matching and I went a little bit over the top <laughs> but we're just gonna just just leave it so yeah the palette is really really nice of course as I could imagine that last green shade is insane you can wear it by itself if you're going out you know for a night out or I was gonna say a rave <laughs> or whatever just something really fun um this green shade is amazing um everything else that i'm using i will leave in the description so you can see if you're intrigued by anything else um but yeah this is my finished look let me know if you've tried this palette before um if you're thinking of getting any of the others because the blue one i'm so tempted for but i'm gonna hold off because i already spent so much money recently uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there. And yeah, I hope you're having a really good week. I hope you're doing well, you're healthy, happy and you're safe. Um, and be kind. Bye guys.